Welcome to the Product Business Podcast. This is your number one podcast for the tips, actions, and insights to make more money from your products while enjoying your life. I'm your host, Amy Wenslow. Let's dive right in. Hello, everyone. I am so glad to be here with you, my fellow product people and inventors and creatives and business people. There is an interesting intersection that happens between creativity, innovation, inventiveness, and business, and it's surprising to me. Now, part of the process is a little daunting and a little scary and uncomfortable. And that is the part where you're faced with a blank page, where you're starting something, you're starting the activity, right? And it doesn't have to be something that's brand new, but it can get built up in your head bigger than it is. And in the business world, it can show up in a lot of ways as well. So today I had two things that I needed to do, two clients that I needed to be in communication with that I was really uncomfortable making the calls. And it's really kind of funny because I love our clients and it wasn't anything about that. It was that I had been more out of communication than I would have preferred with them. And I would have wanted to, literally I had them on my list two days ago to call. And, you know, in my head, I kept building it up to be a bigger thing than it, than it was probably going to be. But being human, you know, that's part of what we do sometimes, right? So this morning, I called our client, Mike McClosevic. Mike is awesome. He's in Cleveland. So uh, he's a huge sports fan there. And he has a really great product that we've been working with his packaging and his his launch and things. And, you know, so we needed to call him. And I was frankly nervous for no reason having anything to do with him because he's awesome, right? But what I realized is that I needed to focus on what is the outcome that we wanted to create and create an environment that gave both of us the space for the project and for the collaboration, right? So when you're in this, sometimes you really, really need to take a couple strategic actions. And this is the same thing if you are talking with a buyer of a large company or a vendor or a factory, right? You must give the conversation the space and respect that it deserves. And if that means that you need to get up and walk away from your computer so you can be present with the person that you're talking to, then you need to do it, right? So this idea of getting up, walking away, giving the space, the con- the conversation, the space, for me looked like going outside, being really present, and making the choice, as I do pretty consistently, to be authentic. And it can be a very vulnerable thing. So to be authentic and share the result that you want and what you're up to creating and do it in an empowering way, right? So that it works for everybody. And that's the same thing that you need to do when you're talking to a buyer or you're talking to a spouse it's the same thing. Your team, your, the staff that work with you, all of that is an act of respect. So the thing that needs to happen to get results is first off, commit to starting, right? And then actually do the action. As Seth Godin says, ship, ship, ship. And what he means by that is he means say that you're like, get it out in the world, right? So tuning into the desire, the goal, taking a deep breath and going. Don't think. I literally say that to myself. I say, I make my list in the morning. I have my priorities and 
I will say to myself, okay, go, don't think. And I don't mean don't be present. I mean, don't overthink, don't paralyze myself, don't do what if scenarios. That's what I mean when I say don't think. That's the thing that I'll say right before I pick up the phone and dial if there's a call that needs to be made that's feeling big to me for whatever reason. So the biggest thing I'd say to you is commit. Go. Do the thing that is in your heart because magic shows up. Right? Mike and I had the most amazing conversation and new possibilities opened up and I was able to reveal to him some of the things that we've been building and testing that are going to exponentially improve his results in his project that he didn't even know were going on, right? Because we needed to to go through our testing process. So with that, everyone, please, it is my biggest wish and desire and hope for you that you feel inspired to Act on the thing that is in your heart to do, to do the thing that is the expansion for you, for your products, for your business, to listen to that intuition and to listen to the idea and act on it. Take the action, take the risk and leap because that's when magic will show up for you. With that, everyone, please I would love for you to go download a digital copy of our new book, turnproductsintoprofits.com is where you can pick that up. It's been going fabulously. And I am so thrilled to say that we are about to cross a very big milestone here on the podcast. And I thank you all for listening and helping and supporting and tuning in. Whatever platform you are uh, listening to the podcast through, whether it's Stitcher, TuneIn, um, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, all of those, please comment, leave a review. I read them all and it really does help us and help us reach more people and serve a larger audience. And I so appreciate it. So please leave a review and comment and let us know what you'd like to hear more about. With that, we'll be back tomorrow with the next episode of the Product Business Podcast.